Oh man, it's the end of the third weekend. And uh, I've gotten pretty far on this tiny home. So I bought a Craig jig, pocket hole jig. That's the best tool I think I've ever owned in my whole life. It allowed me to do these, these little pocket holes to attach multiple cabinetry style components without, you know, having to pre-drill holes and all that kind of set up, but can't see much because it's dark, but I now have the canvas fully stretched and attached. It's going to need a thick layer of waterproofing, but melamine cover underneath it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for a waterproof covering. I might go with like uh, the industrial stuff, like the industrial waterproofing, or I don't know. Rubberized cement might work really well and keep that canvas nice and heavy. I haven't quite finished my front balcony here yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to chain just for extra support from from this point to a plate on the on the corner of the balcony I'm gonna I'm gonna attach a plate so that it's nice and strong so there's no sagging over time it's nice and strong as it is but I finished all the trim inside the inside the the overhang so that looks that looks pretty nice and it's all gonna be covered with with more trim, like more decorative trim. I did this door frame up with the pocket hole jig so you can't see any of the screws or anything like that and it looks just really well. I might have to replace this one, um, oh, I can never remember what it's called, one of the, uh, the style, this style right here. It's uh, It got damaged when I tried to install a, a door mechanism and it didn't really work out super well, but. You can't really see inside either. I don't know if I can... There we go. So it's a bit of a mess in here. But uh, I'm going to get the back panel panels in and uh, build all the cabinetry and, and everything. I got all my, all my lumber in here and bits of scrap wood and stuff so that I'm not leaving a mess in front of my house. But inside is a melamine. It's a melamine-coated uh, board, so really, really strong and waterproof on the outside. And then I got that water resistant canvas over top of that, which I'm gonna lay a super thick waterproofing on top of. But uh, yeah, it turned out really well. And uh, I'm really happy with the way this, uh, with this trim on the inside of the cover looks. And I mean, when it's done, it's gonna, it's all gonna be nice and like it'll be cut to shape to fit this this nice covering here. But I'm gonna have to put a piece of uh, trim on that as well to cover up the raw edges. And, uh, I'm really excited how these bench supports turned out. And then up here again, I'm still gonna, gonna finish sanding, but I'm still gonna install the front window. So yeah, that's an update. We're three weekends into this project. So six days, some of the long days, 10, 12 hours, but it's looking pretty awesome. I got to finish this off and then I got to run the wiring for the trailer lights inside the walls, but I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what the finished cabinetry inside looks like too.